What is not widely known, and in fact what the function of this hearing is about, and I hope to do my best with the help of my fellow senators and members of this panel, is to start focusing attention on the third leading cause of death in the United States of America. And that will come as a great surprise to most people. And the third leading cause of death in this country has to do with preventable medical errors in hospitals. A recent article published in the Journal of Patient Safety estimates that as many as 440,000 people a year may die from preventable medical errors in hospitals. 440,000 a year, that could be more than 1,000 a day. I speak today on behalf of hundreds of thousands of Americans whose voices have been silenced forever by preventable adverse medical events. The fundamental question is, if I walk into an American hospital today, am I demonstrably, clearly safer than I would have been 15 years ago? The unfortunate answer is no. While the subcommittee is to be commended for tackling this challenging issue, I believe that the title understates the problem. We are not only dealing with 1,000 preventable deaths a day, but 1,000 preventable deaths and 10,000 preventable serious complications a day. People who are harmed lose their jobs. They lose their homes. They lose their, lose their health insurance. Many go bankrupt trying to pay the medical bills that they would not have had had they not been harmed by the health care provider they sought help from. These are very real consequences of the failure to take action to eliminate medical errors. They are our sisters and brothers, parents and children, and they are disabled, and many of them are dead because of these events. Many of us, myself included, have seen folks go into a hospital for one problem or another and end up coming out a lot sicker than when they went in and in some cases dying as a result. How come this story is not on the front pages of the papers every single day? 